Hey, you guys. So I have a confession to make. I am a TV addict. Yes, this, this, yes. I am a TV addict. No shade to people who might actually be TV addicts, but it is a problem. Listen, I grew up in a house where I had no bedtime. There was a TV in my bedroom and I pretty much had unspoken permission to watch whatever I wanted. I have actual memories, one specific one, of watching a movie with my mama and asking her, um, are they having sex or making love? You guys, I was eight. Clearly, a child should not be able to watch any and everything. And you know what? This is actually true for a child of God, too. It's about to get a little sticky, but stick with me because... We're going to talk about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ruthina Porterfield, God's favorite, and I want you to get to know him. So meet me here every seven. 17th and 27th of each month so that you can get to know the one who loves you more than you can fathom. Okay, let's jump into the video. Anyway, so uh, several years ago, I was getting ready to join my church in the Daniel Fast, which a lot of churches do at the beginning of the year. But I was in this season where I really wanted to understand what fasting was truly about. I wanted it to be more than just a ritual. I wanted it to be personal. So I went to God and I was like, hey, how do we make this something between me and you? How do we make this more personal? Something more like a consecration time, I guess. And he was like, you really want to know? And I was like, yeah, I really want to know. And he was like, okay no secular television for the next 21 days <gasps> what <laughs> it messed me up you guys i went back and forth with god for a while arguing well it was mostly on my end but after a while i did say okay and since i have a roku I was actually able to discover some Christian television networks, some Christian streaming stuff. And to be honest with you, a lot of it was really corny. There were a few good ones here and there, but kind of corny. But here's the biggest discovery that I made. I learned that a lot of the garbage that's in my spirit is a result of what I had been allowing to come through my eyes. I realized that I had to take a look at my television habits. I had to start watching what I watch. All right, God is not gonna tell you anything that's contrary to his word. And after our arguing back and forth, again, mostly on my end, <laughs> I said to him, I hear what you're saying, but I need to see what you're saying. And being the God that he is, he took me to a scripture that basically said, you should be behaving like my child inside your house as well as outside your house. You need to be behaving like my child behind closed doors. And that means I don't need you watching some crazy stuff that's going to attach itself to you your mind and your emotions so that meant I had to start being more conscious of the content that I was taking into my spirit as well as how much of it okay let me give you an example a mild one so one of the things I like to do to relax and calm my nerves is wrap up in probably my favorite blanket on the couch with my favorite snack usually something sweet and watch my favorite TV show, movie, and that usually means Law and Order SVU. I can already hear y'all through the screen, feel it, hear y'all saying, yes girl, that's the show. 
because y'all know that Law and Order is on a bunch of different channels and there's usually some marathon going on somewhere for like maybe 24 hours or even a weekend. But remember what SVU stands for, Special Victims Unit, the victim of a sexual crime. That means that you're watching someone's sexual trauma hour after hour. You are watching, taking in hour after hour, someone's pain, someone's depression, someone's anger, their denial. You're taking all of that into your spirit, into your soul. When do you release all of that? Where do you release all of that? How do you release that? What goes in is going to come out some kind of way. And this doesn't apply to just crime shows, okay? Think about your favorite comedy or your drama, stuff like Insecure and Scandal, which were some favorites. <laughs> and for me personally, I have to stay away from shows like, say, this new show called Harlem, which is on Amazon, which is supposed to be a pretty good show and I really want to support black women. But I'm very aware that that show has a lot of sexual content, which means that it's a trigger for me. And I don't want to put those kind of thoughts in my head because I know that the battle of sin begins in the mind. Listen, I'm not saying to stop looking at all secular television and just keep it locked on TVN. In fact, I'm really not saying that. I just nix TVN and you know what, that's a topic for a whole other video. If you want to find out why, comment below in the comments. <laughs> but what I am saying is be mindful of what you put before your eyes. Watch what you watch. Be conscious of the content that you consume. Listen, your spirit is already fighting against the negative thoughts about your circumstances, your finances, your family, your friends, your job, whatever. Don't add to that battle by taking in stuff that you don't need. You know what your triggers are. And if you don't know what they are, ask God to reveal them to you. In the meantime, if you missed any of the video verses, they will be in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the podcast and my book, by the way, which is also on sale. And of course, subscribe. Until the next video, peace, stay cool, and God bless.